So as you know, signs have properties and a lot of properties. Mainly, you can write in them. And you can give signs colors. And you can make them glow. And that's the end of the video. See you next week. Yeah, I'm just kidding. This is not very um customizable, wouldn't you say? Why are you staring at me like that? So instead of having an oak sign, we're just gonna use commands, obviously. I mean, that's what this video is about. First, give yourself a command block, a button. And for the thing I like to do, instead of uh, coding in the command block, I'll just go to my desktop and create a JSON file. So, all I have to do is give at p minecraft oak underscore sign. That's simple, right? But if you put in curly brackets, and then I can just press enter, instead of going on one line, I can do lock entity tag colon curly brackets and then i can do glowing text so if this is 1b we've got to put in the colon my goodness so putting that in and giving yourself the oak sign you place it down well nothing's written but what will be written will be glowing then the next tag after a comma we can do color this will be the base color or you know the default color of the sign so within quotes we can do something like black since it's the default color anyways then a comma after that we can do text one for the first line then a colon then hyphens and then square brackets and curly brackets then you can just do text hello and putting that in the command block we can place down a sign that says hello so this string doesn't have any color information if it does it will use something else so we can do color gold then this sign will be gold with an outline because it's well it's glowing please stop staring at me but if you make the default color gold as well well i mean it's going to be gold anyways but if you add in text two but make sure to put a comma after the hyphen then on the second line of the sign we can do hello again and that way we'll say hello again and apparently gold is not a default color so we can just switch it to blue then so now we have hello and then hello again so essentially this color tag is controlling the color of the glow and the default color of all the text. So just keep that in mind. And obviously we can add in text 3 and text 4. And if you've seen my video about display tags, you'll know everything there is to know about text. Because it isn't really that difficult. But this is what's special about signs. If you right click a sign, it actually gives an animation. Which means you can actually interact with it. But how would you interact with it? Like, nothing's happening. Well, within our text parameters, we can put in a comma, then quotes, click, event, colon, then curly brackets this time, instead of more quotes, action, colon, quotes, run, underscore, command, comma, quotes, value, colon, quotes, and this will execute the commands in your chat, so we can't put in long commands like command blocks. So we can do slash, summon, minecraft, pig. Now if we copy all this, put it in a Minecraft command block, get a sign, it'll just be like normal, except if you right click it, it summons a pig. But I think it would be more useful if it were to teleport you somewhere, like go to heaven, slash tp, your username, relative coordinates, 100, and goodbye. So this command executes relative to the sign. But obviously, this click event is only on one of the lines. We can actually add three more. So we can have up to four commands executing at the same time through just clicking the sign once. And this go to heaven tag, we can actually give it a color, white, bold, true. Wait, that needs to be a comma. Go to heaven in bright text. And previously, as I said, you can have multiple commands executed at the same time. So I can add in another click event. And commands obviously have to be executed with a slash. So there you go. Summon firework rocket while I teleport maybe just three blocks in the air. It's not really summoning a firework, but it still does in a way. Cheese. So this was just a quick tutorial on how to make Minecraft signs. Because this can be really handy when actually making stuff for maps. So that's about the whole tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. This command will be in my Discord server. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Click for free cheese? Well, of course.